What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gamer Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have custom themes for the PlayStation Vita on firmware 3.67, 3.65, and 3.63, also 3.61. You can do this on all those firmwares. So now you guys can see that I have some themes here already downloaded to my PC. I created one of these themes. You guys can see my theme folder. So I'll go ahead and leave it in the description. As well, I downloaded a Mortal Kombat theme. I'll go ahead and give you guys a link where you can find more. But the tool that I used was PSV Image Tools Easy Front End. Now this is the latest version, 1.78. Now I'll go ahead and leave the developer's GitHub. It's Mr. Gindy. So you will also need QCMA installed. I'll go ahead and leave those links in the description. Now you can extract non-DPRM and also you can clone PSP games but we're going to target automatic themes. Now it includes some themes in there which is pretty cool. Mario, Hack and Former, Nighttime but we're going to go ahead and download the themes and download this tool from the developers github. So you're going to see a zip folder. So download it and install it. You can see the change logs. Uh, you can read more about it so that you guys can familiarize yourself on how it works. You guys will see that I already downloaded that tool and installed it. Now you can also follow him on Twitter, which is pretty cool. He puts new updates, new information. So you can follow him and his Twitter page. Now so that we can get our themes, we can go to, of course, Hack Informer. Now he has this repository of themes. You can go to, he has about eight pages. He's probably gonna be adding more. So we're going to go to page eight. So you guys can see that I downloaded the Mortal Kombat theme. You guys can browse through there. There's some cool themes in there. Now there's Mortal Kombat. Now these ones have music and you guys will hopefully listen to them. Now that we have our themes, we're going to go to the PlayStation Vita. Just make sure you connect it via QCMA. So now we move on to the PlayStation Vita. And I'm just going to show you guys that I am on 3.67. So I'm going to System, System Information, 3.67. There you guys have it. So we go to content manager, we go to copy content, and then we're going to back up our PlayStation Vita to the PC. Okay, so you can rename it, but I'm just going to leave it how it is, and I select backup. So it depends on the size of your PlayStation Vita. If you have games in there, it might take longer. I don't have really have any games on it, but when I had it, it might it took longer. So now that's all we need to do with PlayStation Vita. We move on to the PC. Now with the PC, we're going to refresh QCMA's database, just in case. And then we're going to launch PSV Image Tools Easy Front End 1.78. Okay, so now we're going to select the floppy disk. And then we're going to give it a name. This is kind of like our key information or ID information. I'm going to rename it Rebirth 3.67. Now it's going to ask you ID QCMA. Just click on the search. And then ID web, just click on the search and add. And then the key added successfully, we click OK. Now we select the folder with the key and we select our profile, which mine is reverse 3.67. OK, so then what we'll go ahead and do, so really simple, we select theme app database. Now before we select that, Make sure you transfer those themes to the folder. Now I installed it on Windows C, I don't know why, but program files and then PSV image tools easy. There's going to be a folder within 
and then it's going to give us all the folders he has so we are going to target the theme folder and then I'm just going to go ahead and drag okay so now we're ready to select theme app database we select our backup we click OK you guys will see that Gamer Reverse DL theme and Mortal Kombat are in there so in this one I'm going to install Mortal Kombat it's already installed my own Gamer Reverse DL theme after we select it it's going to be backup extracted apply the Mortal Kombat and recreate it successfully so we click OK and now we close PSV image tool CC front end now I would recommend you guys to save your backup just in case so PS Vita system and then you can copy that file and paste it somewhere else external hard drive and before we move on to the PlayStation Vita remember to refresh QCMA's database and technically that's all we need to do now we go to the PlayStation Vita and we go to content manager and we select copy content okay so now we're going to select now restore so we selected our backup file is going to be in there and we select it and it's going to close all the applications in use and then we select restore okay so depending on the size again it might take longer I don't really have anything in this PlayStation Vita so then do you want to delete the backup file it depends if you want to I mean back it up first and then you can delete it so then it's going to restart your system automatically so you guys can see we still don't have no themes but we go to settings and then we're going to scroll down to theme and background we select theme and now you guys will see to my gamer reverse DL theme so let's install it to see if it works so this is pretty cool it's working guys this is amazing simple easy you can download all the themes from pack informer and install them i'll leave this theme in the description if you like my theme you know just give it a thumbs up to this video so now let's try the mortal kombat theme sorry guys i got kind of excited so we select theme and then we select the mortal kombat Okay, so now let's try it. This also has music included. So this is pretty cool guys. This is amazing. So if you liked it, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Gamer Rebirth out.